Baroness Linda Chalka, many thanks for coming here to WPC TV. You are a former Minister of State for Overseas Development in the British government and a big expert on Africa. And you do a lot of development aid for Africa now. But I want to ask you a slightly different question. Uh, is it a good idea for uh, the 0 0.7 GDP target to be kept or to be aspired to by donor governments? And secondly, somewhat related, what do you think of the most recent Band-Aid concert for Africa? I ask the question because some people think it's rather patronizing. Well, first of all, may I just correct you? For the last 18 years, I've been committed to taking investment into Africa, trying to enhance trade. Which is different from development aid, yes. It's I, very I different from development point. aid. As far as 0.7% is concerned, this of course was a figure uh, arrived at years ago when uh, GDP was far lower. But Britain has, uh, in the last few years, committed itself to uh, paying 0.7% as a minimum. And although times are hard, and I know many people disagree with this because other things have to be cut back, I think it is right to help people in their own countries. Because if people are helped to learn and to trade in their own countries, they are less likely to try to be refugees in other countries. Also, there are so many people who come uh, to Europe as refugees who would far rather have an opportunity in their own countries near their own families. And I hear that comment again and again. I'm afraid I was abroad when the uh, row broke out about Band-Aid. I think the important thing is that people see that money is being well spent in the developing world. And therefore, however the money is raised, as long as it's legally and properly raised, I don't think people have an objection. You only have to look at the enormous contributions to children in need in the United Kingdom, or to the Red Cross, or to a disaster. And I know from my own post bag and my own involvement in a number of NGOs as an honorary patron and vice president and so on, generosity is really there for the developing world, which is why I think we're right to stick to the 0.7%. Just a very brief follow-up question. Um, investors, what, do they, what are the biggest obstacles? Is it corruption? Is it border problems? Is it bad governance? What is... It's a combination. Because, I mean, I ask yes. question because a lot of people would say, I think quite justifiably, that Africa really should be the continent of the 21st century. I believe Africa should be the continent of the 21st century. But it's only going to achieve that if it improves both its commercial governance and its government governance, if I can put it that way. If it removes the barriers to investment, which is what I do through the Investment Climate Network uh, for Africa, uh, that is a PPP, which takes account of the real needs to change processes of government, and that includes border processes, which are a great impediment to inter-African trade. Baroness Nidachoka, many thanks. Thank you.